Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Draconius Go. Today I'm talking about the email that I've just received from Draconius Go detailing that they have changed the hatch list for 10k eggs. So they've stated that they took feedback on board from what people were saying and people were complaining apparently about, about the, the fact that you were getting some of the uh, creatures from, the, from 10k eggs which weren't great. They were the you know the, the first form of evolutions and they've they've come back and they've they've taken them out so we're going to be going through all the ones that the predicted 10k list list based on um wikia which is a fan base where people can edit it and put things in so i'll put the link down below so if you've noticed any hatches from those lists uh, you can pop them in i already put one in today i had a golden egg obviously hatched filbusters yesterday and that wasn't in the hatch list so go on there and change things around if if you've actually found someone because that's the best way we're going to get a hatch list is from everybody uh detailing the ones that they've got from the eggs so i'm not sure how i signed up to this uh email address i don't know if it's probably when you put your email address in uh, for the game uh but hi friends we read all mails carefully and do our best to improve the game based on players feedback today we've changed the chances of hatching creatures from 10k eggs so that basic level creatures will no longer hatch from such eggs for me this is so exciting in the fact that people have been messaging them by support and they've listened and not only have they listened but they've reacted really quick this game hasn't been out long i think it's funny that people have like rage sent an email to their support team saying i got a terrible creature from a 10k egg so let's have a look at the egg hatch list and see which creatures have been removed so here we have the 10k hatch list quite a lot of creatures in there potentially so this is the 10k hatch list there's a lot of really good creatures in there um armor rank is a rare Bayesian is, you know, for me, he's, he's obviously my best creature. We've got Cutie Cat, who is an early form, so will be removed. Cutie Cat is kind of like the Dratini of Pokemon Go, because its final form is it has like mad CP. Leviathan is top to be one of the strong creatures in the game as well, and it's really rare to find that in the wild. We've also got Smog, that's the dragon, as you can see on my right, it's the purple dragon. My right, your your left left of me <laughs> over there's left yeah so that's smog um so we've got a lot of creatures in there so let's go through the ones that are no longer in there we've got batoid is an early form so that's been removed cuticat obviously an early form been removed we've got flamey who's been removed um we've got in that will have been removed now in evolves into one form and there are no more evolutions now I'd kind of like to see that still kept in. We've got Leaflet, I mean, we all want that gone. And we've got Mimey Ween or Mummy Ween, whether they put a typo, I don't know. It's Mime, Mimey Ween. Uh, Princey is gone as well, um, who evolves into Earthborn, who actually got yesterday in an egg. We've got Steam Pal, who again, we're all pretty happy to see Steam Pal go. Vampiro as well, who evolves into Dracul. I think Dracul's already in there as well. Yeah, so it doesn't really need to be in there. Um, the ones that do evolve, I, I think I'd like to see it if they were replaced by the, the layer forms, but they haven't specified that they're going to do that, so you have a chance of getting them from 10k eggs. But looking at that list, there are a lot of really good creatures in there, so it's going to increase your chances of being able to get them, which is always a good thing. Just in case you're interested, here is the hatch list predicted for 2k egg. Obviously these aren't as good, but these offer some pretty good source of stone uh, for getting some good evolution. We have Phoebe, which is a good evo evolution. I think the final form's Caesar. Stalin is pretty good. Uh, Spooky is a really good one because you can evolve into Ghostus, and Ghostus has really good CP. Then we've got 5k eggs, which offers some good ones as well. We've got Caesar in there, Basilisk, so some good final forms. Airycorn. Um, I really want to get a lot of can a lot of stones from Airycorn, um, and I'd like to get the final evolution of that because I think it's Hippo? 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 Hippofly, I think it is, is the final form, which is, it just looks cool. Ghost is in there, so you can get it straight off, and Harpy. So Inyo is actually in the 5K, so that's good. They were, if they take them out of the 10Ks, we've still got a chance to get stones that way. We've got Needle Hot, which is a pretty good source of stones as well to get Picaroon. We've got Snailin in there as well as in the 2K, and Undine. So there's some really good forms in there. Like I said, oh, we've got Pillowcat as well. Definitely getting Pillowcats. But as you can see in the Ancient Hatch list, there are some differences, like Q-Cat in the 2H, um, in the 5-hour ones we've got 
uh, Cheshire in there. We've got Maglev as well. So it might actually be different um, for that list. If it is, I've got two 10Ks at the moment in my ancient eggs. So there's not a great list there. I'll obviously be looking for in your um, but Steam Power, Vampira, Storm Dean, Hydra, what do you got? Grand Dottel, Dabbler Shark, Caesar. Not a great list. Um, I'd, I'd actually, I hope some of these are in those 10k hatches as well, but we will find out. So that's all for this video. Thought I'd just update you with the changes and make you aware of this source of finding the egg hatch list. Like I say, make some additions if you've got different ones that aren't on that list. Collectively, I think we're going to complete the egg hatch list pretty soon and going to have it. I imagine someone will do a source like, you know, with Pokemon Go where you've got all the pictures um, and all the different eggs, which will be pretty helpful. As soon as I've got that, I'll make sure I put that on a video and give you a link to that so we've all got it okay well that's all for this video hope you enjoyed it if you have hit that like button and hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future information that's all for me see you soon